here we have Marco Fontana's Cannondale FSI race bike. His hardtail is what he chooses most of the time. So starting up top here at the handlebars, we have FSA K-Force carbon handlebar. Um, it's interesting that he's also got the FSA K-Force carbon seat post to match that. So that's quite nice. Also the saddle is a pro logo one and also pro logo foam grips, nice and thin and obviously super light. Some small details over here on the seat at the front of the saddle. It has little bobbly bits. I presume that they aid in climbing where he sits up the front. So up front on the suspension, Cannondale's iconic lefty fork, aluminium crowns, and it's a full carbon stanchion. So super light, 100 mil of travel. I've actually had a little, a bit, little bit of a push on this fork, just bringing it over. And it's super supple, actually a lot softer than I thought you would actually be running forks like that. So that's quite cool that they're trying to get not only the efficiency, but also nice and soft and supple through the rough stuff. So it's quite cool. Um, moving down to the wheels, we've got the very nice MV M50 rim. So it's a slight deep section. I'm not sure if that is to do with sort of aero or whether it's just to provide rigidity. Um, then obviously they have to run the lefty specific hub there. And there is a, a DT240S hub on the rear, super light hub. Obviously, as you can see, there's no dropper post on this bike, but he has a little matchmaker lever for a dropper post and that controls, I presume, the lockout on the fork. There's a little hose that goes through here and into the top of the fork there. So I guess he can lock it out perhaps on the climbs or smooth single track. So moving to the tires, he has Schwalbe Racing Ralph. They're actually quite aggressive, especially the side edges. They seem to be quite, quite an aggressive side knob, perhaps that's something that he likes. Obviously, he's one of the better descenders um, in the cross-country field, so perhaps he needs like a little bit more aggressive tyre to play to his strengths on the, on the technical sections. Okay, so moving down to the drivetrain, it's a SRAM XX1. It's an 11-speed cassette and it's 1042. So he's got the big gear for the climbs and he's matched that with the 34-tooth chainring. Cannondale's very own SL SL2 crank set. It is a 175, so quite a long, quite a long crank set. And he also matched that with a stages crank on the non-drive side. So he's got his power reading, which sort of reads up here on his Garmin. It's one of those reverse Garmin mounts, so it sits nice and tidy. So the braking is taken care by the SRAM XX brakes, carbon levers, they look very, very minimal, like looking down at the controls here, they're very sleek and thin, and the handlebar assembly looks really clean with those brakes. 160 rotors, so pretty small. Not opting to run a 140 like some guys do on here. So he's got 160, 160, plenty of braking power, and I guess consistent braking. Right, moving on to the fork. I was so surprised when I pushed on it, how supple it was that, that you guys are really trying to dial it in for getting the most traction on the front end on the descents. Exactly, I mean, especially in this technical course, you know, you want to have the traction, but at the same time, you want to have, when you hit jumps and drops, as you can see, you know, we have more and more, you want to have this progression of the fork and not bottom out too easy. So I think it's a, it's a good mix, good combination. Yeah, Left it, is quite cool. Definitely, it feels really good. Um, just a quick point, um, obviously you've got a power meter that's really important for training. I should imagine it's always with power. Um, racing also using power through the Garmin? We, we use it for, for both and um, I have to say, I mean, a power meter is important for training and races as well, but you know, we're athletes and we need to also uh, ask ourselves, you know, and to feel ourselves okay, we, we're good, I have to do this or that. So it's not all about the power, but it's a mix between feeling and, and numbers. Mm -hmm. 